if this actually comes off, it's my first ever bumper I've removed in my whole entire life. Yes, done one. Oh, this is, I'm enjoying this, guys. Yes. I'm gonna cry if this actually comes off. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Where's your gloves then? Don't need them. Mechanic. Hi guys, welcome back to another video back on the Driven 24-7 Automotive YouTube channel. Today you join me on the driveway and behind me we have my recently bought Honda Civic EP3 Type R. Now the car is on the driveway, I am in old gear because you guessed it, I'm going to attempt to take bits off this car in preparation for me and my dad to restore both the headlights, one needs doing in particular but obviously while they're both out, might as well both do them. But you guessed it, it's not as simple as me lifting up the bonnet and just taking out both the headlights. Oh no, it's a Honda, it's an old car, apparently it's a bumper off job. Now we all knew what happened last time we did a job like this. I had to call my dad over and we actually ended up taking the car to a garage. But today I've got no one here to help me, so I've only got one choice and I'm willing to do it. So let's give this a go. I think first thing first, let's get the wheels on full lock and take off the little bits in the wheel arches. I think that's... Where to start? Finally, there's a nut on top. Oh, damn it. Oh, finally. God, that was such hard work to be ages to get the right bits on there. Oh, I need to turn the wheels again. Don't let go. Oh, thank goodness. Right, doing the bumper bits from the inner arch took me ages just to take off two bolts, try access was awful. So now we've got the bonnet popped open, I might try and release some of these tr um, trim screws, maybe see if the bumper comes off um, and see if we can get the headlights out, so I think we'll start with these little trim screws I guess. I'm very determined. Very determined. Those ones, get rid of these two now. We're good. Aha. Oh my goodness, I'm enjoying this. Well, I guess that's loose, or does it come out? Yes, done one. Oh, this is, I'm enjoying this, guys. I'm enjoying this. Right, now for number two. Let's go this way. So I know now, now know that he pops up there. I've got to prize these off a bit. Oh, yes. I'm gonna cry if this actually comes off. Okay, so I think we're loose. Oh my god, we're loose. Okay, uh, now what? If this actually comes off, it's my first ever bumper I've removed in my whole entire life. Okay. Oh, there's another a trim bit coming out there. And there. Okay. Uh, How does this bit 
Okay, we'll leave the bumper for a minute because I'm not sure what's going on really, to be honest. You're not even a ten, are you? There you are. Crusty. I'll see you've taken the headlights. Oh, it makes the um, bumper any looser, maybe. God, it's that whole thing when it gets stuck in here, isn't it? Oh no. I've got it stuck, I've had this before. I crossed the uh, nut, whatever's been released. This is a really, really crusty one now. Oh, it seems to be coming undone. He's out. Oh, that's better. Okay, cool, looking promising. Let's just do the other side. Just trying to do the things I know I can do until we sort out how the bumper comes off. Oh, that's not even... Oh. Okay, well we won't undo that one then. It's not even attached. It's snapped. Oh, this is very loose. Cool. So that's... Okay, it's loose. So I did a thing, I yanked it. Doing something, but ah, oh, so it is still. We need to get a couple bolts underneath by the looks. Oh, okay, so one bolt underneath the car has gone, and there didn't film that, but you can believe me. Let's see what happens now. Nothing, well, it is coming loose underneath. Not these ones. Ah. Another screw, maybe. I'll give them a go, another screw, I think. Oh, I don't have a Oh. <laughs> I don't have a smaller screwdriver to get the ground clearance. Have to get pliers, maybe. I haven't got enough room to unscrew the screw because it's hitting the ground. I am hurting, I've been on this for about a couple of hours now, so I thought I'd have to call my parents to get a stubby screwdriver, the screwdriver was hitting on the driveway, I had a magical idea of moving the car out, I drove it up a kerb, managed to get the right uh, height for, to get the screw out, so back on the drive, let's see if the bumper comes off now. Right, let's see if anything happens then. Oh my god. I can't believe that. This is a massive achievement for me. 
I phoned my parents, I was going to have to ask them to come around, but I thought, if you use some common sense, managed to get the last screw out, and then I could see I just needed to push the bumper that way and out, and it would come out, and it has. So maybe I am a mechanic in the making after all. I've used a lot of common sense today, things that me only mechanics would think of, I feel like. I've taken off my first ever bumper. I am so, so chuffed. This is why I wanted old cars, because if I break stuff, it doesn't matter. The car's tatty anyway, so... I, I can't believe that. I'm actually gobsmacked. I've done that completely by myself. Right, okay then, let's move it out of the way, I suppose. I just can't believe that, guys. Right, okay, where were we? Let's see if the lights come out. So is there anything else holding it in? Disconnect bolts. God, I'm doing so well. My dad's actually arrived anyway. What do you think, Dad? Look. Yeah. Ta-da! Should we go do now, then? Get them out? Take the headlights out. What's holding them in now then? Don't know. I've just um, taken the bulbs, unplugged the bulbs from there. You do it then? No, can I do it? You would look for clues then? No. I've undone them. It still seems like it's. No, it is. That, you put that one's got Yeah, this one was look, broken anyway. Under here, innit? It's broken there as well, look. I think you've got to take this bracket off. Do you think? The there's um, there's one here, look, yeah. The yeah, there's there. one there as well, look. Or would you like that? Right, so is this yeah. a... Should be a 10? 10, yeah. They need a long bar to get to that one, and that should come off then, shouldn't it? What do you mean a long bar? That one's really deep, isn't it? Where's your gloves then? Don't need them. Mechanic. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, but I don't know if it's grabbing it or not. It is, isn't it? It is turning, I can see it. Good save. Oh, it hooks over, look. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one. Getting dirty, then you done. Oh, would be a good time to um, upgrade the bulbs, I guess, wouldn't it? Maybe mm, don't get any disc bit of it as well, don't we? Yeah, he's broken. Let me do that back on. As you saw, my dad turned up. I told him not to bother, but he still turned up anyway. But nice for him to swing past, and I can say, look what I've done. So that was quite cool. Obviously, his voice came in handy for making this big boy a big boy. Oops. I wouldn't have known to do this otherwise. So, like I said, I didn't insist they came around, guys. But he did, so that's fine. Uh, I thought I'd get in this one, is it? Ah. So long. Ah. Oh, yes. Ah. Need to take the uh, undo the bowls from this one because my dad has gone, so I'll do it myself. Mind you, I could get the headlight out first, won't make it easier actually. Oh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ew. Well, I can't believe that. That took me a good two to three hours, but I've got the afternoon off and, uh, this is what I took part-time YouTube as, so I could come home on a Friday and work on the car and film a video. So, although my dad came over, 
it wasn't nothing to do with me. I thought I'd have to ask for his help. I didn't need it. It turns out it came over anyway, pass on by, so it's nothing on me. <laughs> I didn't cheat, guys. I just quite enjoyed it because I guess mechanics is a lot about problem solving. Because my screwdriver was too long and the ground clearance on the car wasn't enough, I did call my dad to bring over a stubby screwdriver. I must get some. And because I didn't want, really want him to come over, I decided to drive the car outside, drive it up a curb. Just silly little things like that you have to sometimes think of on the go. What is that? Got a some Volvo. And then just when I thought the bump was coming off, I just had to, again, common sense, go underneath. There was a couple more screws I needed to get out. I really enjoyed this, actually. And I can I can say I, I did it by myself because I actually did. I'm home alone. Apart from my dad popping by, which was nothing on me, I've done it. When the bump had come off, it was such a big relief for me, you know, when I fixed a misfire on my Nissan I have here, it was just a bit of an emotional moment because I'd fix something and taking this off was a little bit of a moment for me because I thought, wow, this is a big job and my dad come around and I was like, look what I've done because, uh, you know, and I can't wait for Martin to come home from work because I'm like, ta-da, I did it and such a nice feeling. That's what these ca old cars are all about. This is an old car that needs stuff doing to it and I'm willing to literally get my hands dirty and give stuff a go myself and I'm so glad I did. I did this, I, I mean, it's not, you know, shouldn't be proud of it, the car's an estate, but... Otherwise, my dad would have had to do with this if I wasn't willing to give it a go. So, yeah, I've done it. So what I'll do, the car's staying on the driveway while it's semi-naked at the front. I don't think we've got any rain expected on the car. So now the headlights are out, I can physically take the headlights to my dad. And we can both do a headlight restoration. My dad's done one before. I know I can get someone out to do it, but it's all part of learning. I want to give it a go myself and my dad. Plus, it's another video out of the car as well. So the next step will be the headlight restoration then the painful job of putting the headlights in and getting all this back together but you know halfway there now guys so i thought i'd make this into a video the struggle was there but we did it in the end i'm so so proud of myself i know you guys are probably waiting for me to take this thing for a home with you guys on board i want to do that without the awful headlights i'm just ashamed of those headlights being in there so they're out things are in progress thanks for watching this one i'm really proud of myself and i'll see you in another video past Jesus Christ ages as people coming people coming maybe maybe not and then we had the ship 